G'day guys. This is Alright Taz. Doing something slightly different on this gorgeous winter's morning. And uh, showing you what has been distracting me from Project Gilby, the budget bobber build for the last couple of weeks. So guys, this is Biscuit. This is my 1991 Toyota Hilux, or pickup in other countries, mini truck. It's a flat tray or a flat bed. So I picked up Biscuit uh, somewhere around a month ago. And I got him for an absolute song. I got him for the grand total of zero dollars. That is correct, zero dollars. Technically, I actually swapped him. And the story for Biscuit is that I swapped the XR250 for this ute. beautiful down here today hopefully there's not too many people about This looks familiar. It should, because I've done a whole bunch of walk arounds on my bikes. This is what's been distracting me from Gilby, the budget bob build in the last couple of weeks. This is Biscuit, my 1991 YN85R mini truck that I'm building. I swapped it for the XR250L that I hadn't used in a while and I don't know, off-road riding, it's not for me. I much prefer road riding. So I swapped it, or the basis of this project, for the XR250 and this is where I'm at so far. So I thought I'd share with you guys just so that you can see what I'm doing, what I'm interested in, when I'm not building motorcycles. So I bought this, or I, I obtained this to use to haul around my motorcycle projects, uh, much more interesting than a trailer. Uh, when I bought it, it had a hardwood tray, it had been stained, it had been varnished, it looked pretty good. Look pretty retro, but I've ended up covering that with uh, charcoal marine carpet that I bought from Bunnings, and that's $33.90 a metre, and it's very easy to work with. I've just uh, used some fasteners to screw in there and hold that down. I've covered the baseboard as well, and I think it ends up looking pretty good, much better than what it did. Suspension wise, it's had a little bit of work done to it. So you can see down in there you've got some two inch or two and a half inch lowering blocks. Uh, it's got two and a half inch lowered shock absorbers, reset leaf springs, same on this side, uh, and it brings it down really nice and low. So it's not bagged mini truck laid out on the frame low, but it's certainly low enough to look cool uh, but it's high enough to be usable and still carry a little bit of weight in the tray. The ultimate test, apparently, according to the Japanese, if you can't get your shoes between the guard and the tyre, then you're on your way to being low enough. 
just with a bit of wiggling. Yeah, so front could possibly wind down another inch on the torsion bars. I've put some clear indicators front corner guard are all bought from eBay and they just make the vehicle look more modern. TRD decal again eBay off center number plate just uh, because I can. Apparently the law here before anyone jumps on it the law is 45 degree angle at 20 meters. So we'll just give that a test. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 meters. Very easily readable. Come through here. At a steeper angle, still very readable. It's about there where I lose it. So I'd hazard a guess to say that I'm not going to get too much issue with that. The engine is an 1812 cubic centimetre carby fed 2Y. And in the future, I'm going to look at an engine swap. But in, at the moment, this is in good nick, runs well. It's got very low coast, so it's 1991, and it's got about 200,000 kilometres on it. It's got a full surface history, and it's also been detailed. Rock cover is sprayed yellow, of course, a few accents. I sprayed the airbox and the Garby hat uh, to black. Brakes were bled and new pads before I acquired it. Interior. I've sticker bombed the glove box. It's got a SAS steering wheel, boss kit, fluffy dice, seat covers, aftermarket knob. It's only explode head unit and some J car. Coaxial splits. So these are actually split, and the tweeter is sort of separated from the main speaker via a crossover. But instead of the tweeter being separate and up mounted away, these are designed to go in standard positions in sort of standard cars just to improve factory stereo. And so it's on a universal or a ball joint. And they work really well. I've used them in a couple of builds before and they work really well. They sound fantastic. Uh, even when you amp them, they do sound really good. One of the most interesting things, original purchase order and full service history for the vehicle. The original tyres that were on it were on 12 slotter rims. They were 14 by... Seven, uh, or two hundred five seventy fourteen, and I bought these wheels, which are seventeens. They're two thirty five forty five seventeen, Z rated tyres. Actually, bought the wheels, which are R O H Australian made Fury from Arrakis. I got five of them for three hundred bucks, and I spent the weekend fixing them up, grinding out the gutter rash, filling the damage, spraying them black, and I think they've come out real well. And the detailed drum brakes, front caliper in yellow that has been sprayed up to match the engine bay, I think just sets off the black rims. They're eight inch wide. So the full inch wider than what was on there when I bought it. I think they're three inches wider than what's on their standard. But again, it's come up pretty well. They tuck in, can get full lock, no scrape at the current height. That guys is Biscuit, my Hilux flat tray mini truck.
project. Hope you like it. Might do a few updates in the future. Guys, my name's R.O. Taz. Till next time, out.